Hello, hello, hello. Thank you. I'm just having some peppermint tea. And I got out of the bath and now I'm beatboxing. Oh no, this apple isn't very good. <laughs> it's really mealy. Uh, I was expecting it to be a Granny Smith, but it was like, ew. Okay, it's not that bad. I can't eat it, I think. Mm. It's not that good either. Usually when I go live, I'm drawing you guys, so I'm sorry if you're disappointed, but I thought I'm about to go to sleep, so I should just say hi. Hi, bite sized candies. Welcome back. But I still have my pen, as you can see. It's 1.30 a.m. where you live. I think it's 11.30 here. Let me see. Yeah, it's 11.30 here. I'm going to put on some Animal Crossing beats. Hold on, you guys. I'm going to put on some Animal Crossing beats. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. The, the iMac was turned off. I had to hit the button to turn it back on. We're going to boot up the beat machine. Thanks, Hands Banana. Hi, Danica. Mm. You guys want to see some RGB light action? Watch this. <laughs> We can make it even more extreme, okay? Even more extreme, ready? Three, two, one. Boom. Oh wait, almost there, almost there. Here we go, three, two, one. <laughs> My apple's really good, actually. I mean, I, I just, it's a different kind of apple from a Granny Smith apple. And, hold on, I have to log in to the iMac. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, see you, Dark Sakura. Okay, I've logged in. Now I'm just waiting for YouTube to open. Bum, 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 boom, do, 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 428, 4.32 a.m. Wow. All right. Too much of those RGB lights, I think. Let's take those off. Okay, opening up YouTube. Do, 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 do. Google Chrome takes so long to open. Hold on. Google Chrome takes so long to open. 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 Oh wait. It's 
open. Oh no, it's open, but it's frozen. <sighs> I remember when computers used to be so fast. They were like, when I was a kid, computers were like really fast. Like you would like turn it on and you'd basically like double click your web browser and it would just be like, Poof. it was extremely fast. I don't know why they got so slow. What happened? They're so slow at everything. Kind of ridiculous. Good night, bite sized candies. All right. There we go. Now we got some rainy Animal Crossing beats because it's raining here too. 1 a.m. in Texas. What are you doing awake? You must have, your school must have been canceled. My school wasn't canceled, but sort of is canceled. We're gonna go all online. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I live in Oregon. I live in Oregon and I teach um, college art here at Southern Oregon University. It's called. You get three weeks off. Nice. We get an extra week of spring break. And my girlfriend who lives in London, Ella, she's coming tomorrow. And I'm really excited, actually, because, um, well, because... She almost, like, she might not be able to come because, like, well, like, in three days they were going to, um, I don't know. It was just a possibility that the, she was planning on visiting in, like, a week, but that she wouldn't be able to because of the travel, the travel ban would have been put on. So it's, it was really frustrating, but we, like, moved her flight to tomorrow. So now she's coming tomorrow, tomorrow and I'm really excited. <laughs> Basically is all I wanted to say. <laughs> it took me, like, an hour to say that. Mm. Hello, super cute girl. What's up? I'm eating an apple. I hope she gets stuck in the USA. That would be cool. Because I would marry her. And then we could have babies here. I think she wants to get stuck in the USA too. So. Stuck in the USA. I'm 31 years old. Mm, yeah, well, no, we can't fly to Europe. Americans can't fly to Europe and Europeans can't fly to America, but the UK is still technically part of Europe, even though there's Brexit, but actually the UK isn't part of this special zone. So like if you go to the UK, you get a different visa than if you go to other European countries. It's called the Schengen Zone. It's just how the European Union is set up, basically. So America banned like travel between American countries in the Schengen zone. The UK and one other country, I think, isn't in it. So. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hi, Laura Bradley. Oh my gosh, your boyfriend lives in Italy. Oh, I'm so sorry. That must suck so bad, Haley. Are they okay? You want another growing game? You mean the one that goes, that goes like this? It's time to grow into something new. Like that. It's time to grow into something new. <laughs> yeah, that's a cool one. Alex came up with that one. How long have we been dating? I know you have, Willa. Yeah, you've seen Ella in my TikToks. We've been dating for like over a year now. I mean, it's like we met in the UK and we didn't date after meeting for a while and then like some months went by and then we were talking more and started dating. What's viral? Willa? The coronavirus? The coronavirus? Hmm... <laughs> Mm -hmm. Bye, Dad. X food or thank you. 
Which video? The newest one. The one where I'm doing my weird beats. <laughs> Did you guys see that beat that I thought of in the shower? Oh, it's time to grow into something new. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That went really viral. It was like 3 million. That was actually the biggest. That was the most popular video I've ever done. This one that Alex and I came up with. But what's funny is when we recorded that, we didn't even think it was that good. We are like, oh yeah, let's just post it. But then it was like... Mm. And a lot of other stuff we've made are like, we were way more proud of. I like before we posted them. What inspires my videos? Mm. I guess like childhood, number one. Like it, the style. But then a lot of the drawing related stuff, like the whistle graph stuff, a lot of that stuff is like actually kind of like academic art theory stuff that I'm hiding in the, well, you just don't realize that it's there, but so I like, I studied art and um, did a lot of computer art things and also did some things with like media and media theory and some like, and thought, thought all about mod modernism basically like academic art things that are not that important but basically the whistle graph kind of like approach is like part of my sort of like art research if that makes sense mm. oh you're going to portland this summer hey, that's great willa willa i might do a i might do a performance in portland this summer for kids like a whistle graph performance so i'll do like a live show but like for like a real group the people maybe it'll be at a school or something like that so yeah if you're in portland like i'll probably do it eventually i'll do a tour i'll do a tour of like live shows for kids for kids and teens it's really soft and it kind of sucks this apple is soft and it's super lame so <laughs> but at least it's getting me through the show <laughs> why are our teachers putting in advanced art next year that's so cool like, is that like AP art? Or what kind of art is that? I should come to Dallas. Yeah, I've been to Houston. But, but yeah, I, I wanna, I'll have to figure out. I think I need to have more, I think I need to have some more followers before I do a tour. So I know like a lot of people will show up. But even when I have like a bit more, you know, I'll definitely do like a couple shows, I think, so. And I've already done a lot of shows live, but not for, but mostly for college students and a lot of them in Europe. So, and that's for different things. That's more for like art, academic art stuff. I kind of am like perform, I'm, I'm kind of like a performance artist, basically. And so I travel around and do these like art lectures about software and things. But the whistle graph show would be very different. It would be like just whistle graphs all the time. You know, <laughs> it's a different project. When you know you're done with your piece. Mm. That's a good question. Depends on what you're making. So like sometimes when I write a whistle graph piece, I know that I'm done. Like it takes a lot of effort and I like it's not done until it's like recorded. And then I'm like, OK, now there's a video of it and I really like the video. And so that becomes like the artifact for it. But the first ones I did, I wasn't recording them. It was before I had TikTok and I just decided, OK, that was done. But when I was done, I made a final little drawing of it and um stuff like that so um yeah <laughs> oh no thomas taylor you're gonna copyright the whistle graphs <gasps> that's okay you can have all the money i don't care <laughs> just kidding you have to give me you have to give me um you have to give me one percent of the money Mm -hmm. Hi, Beliar Hyanun. Hi, Sarah the Rat. You're going to do ceramics, Willa, and painting. That's awesome. Mm. Sorry, I'm scrolling back because I maybe missed some people. Oh, AP art. <sighs> nice. I got, like, the worst. <laughs> so, like, I'm, I'm a pretty good artist now. But, like, when I did AP art in high school... Sorry, sorry, I hit my TikTok daily limit and <laughs> notified me. Um, probably cut out for a second. But when I was like, um, when I did APR in high school, I got like a two out of five for the score. 
<laughs> I sucked, basically. But art, I cared a lot about art, but I guess I just wasn't that inspired in art, AP art class. I didn't really know I cared about art until way later. At that point in time, I wanted to be a professional computer gamer. And I was playing, I was going to all these tournaments, kind of like Fortnite. Actually, the game that I played was called Unreal Tournament, and it's made by the same company that makes Fortnite. And so I would used to go, to, go around to tournaments and stuff and play. Did the glow polish ever work? No. Wait. So here's, it also looks awful. Wait. And you can see this nail polish that I tried to put on. It's glow in the dark. It doesn't work at all. But also, like the brand of nail polish that I got is very, it's called Piggy Paint. And it's what my nieces use actually. Piggy Paint it has a little piggy on it. I like it because it has a piggy on it. And also it's like totally non-toxic. And sometimes, I don't know, I like to put nail polish on things just like during the show for fun. I don't want to like smell nail polish because it smells. Because nail polish smells like terrible. So, <laughs> uh, so when I use nail polish on the show, I use this piggy paint stuff and then it can get on my hands and I don't have to worry about rubbing it off or feeling if there's chemicals on my hands. Because I don't really like feeling like chemicals on my hands. That's why I, don't, I like to draw instead. Do you draw your, the butterfly in class? That's so cool. Oh, thanks, Lauren. <laughs> That's very sweet of you. Does anybody here know anybody who has coronavirus? Why do I draw? That's an easy question to answer. I draw basically because like, I would say for two reasons. So the first reason is um, like, if you see something, right? Um, if you see something and you want to share it with somebody, like let's say I see uh, something up there, right? Like this triangle. So you see this triangle? Let's say my friend was here and I want to show them this triangle, right? Well, if my friend was here, I could just point to the triangle. I could be like, oh, it's right there. I would be like, hey, Alex, why don't you look up there? This is a really cool triangle. And Alex would look, and then there's no need for a drawing then, right? However, if I look at that cool triangle and then I also use my imagination, I might see that triangle with like these two, there's these two little dots here, like almost look like little dots, and then I see this like mouth. I could be like, hey Alex, look at that mouth. And then Alex might be like, oh, I don't really see that or something. And I'd be like, oh, okay. And then so I'd take the, I would take a drawing and I'd go like, pew, 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 and kind of trace that. And then I'd be like, oh, now do you see the mouth? And he would be like, oh yeah, now I see it. So basically the reason why I draw is because people have different levels of imagination. And at some point, if you're with somebody, in order to actually communicate what you're imagining to them, you can't just point at stuff and expect them to imagine the same thing. You know what I mean? So you have to draw in person with people. It's And then the other reason is because then other people will be able to see that without the original thing anymore. So you can, you can use things to imagine off of and then take the imaginings and communicate them to other people, basically. That's what's nice about drawing. And it's different from a photograph because a photograph you can just change the angles and things like that. So specifically drawing lines allows you to not just capture the whole thing, but capture exactly the sections that you want or something. <clears throat> and also drawing feels good. It's portable. It's very like, drawing has a very high frame rate. The frame rate of the FPS of making a drawing is very fast. It's faster than like, it's as fast as your hand can move. Plus drawings last for thousands of years, which is pretty cool. Most video games don't even last for like a year, you know, but drawings like last forever. So drawings are kind of cool. Can I sing one of my drawings? 
sing one of my songs. Yeah, like what about this one? Well, 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 look who it is crawling in the corner of the room. Yeah. Or this one. It goes like this. Would you like to come down the stairs? I don't want to because I'm too scared. Oh. Yeah. Or what about this one? I miss my girlfriend. She loves to kiss me and always sends me the best emoji. She lives in London. And so she drinks tea. And when I visit, she makes me coffee. <laughs> like that. Mm -hmm. What is it, Dahlia? You love to draw and stuff, but a lot now recently your mind just goes blank. Even when you feel inspired. So what do you mean? You like feel inspired by something? And then your mind just goes blank. What do you mean? I'm going to have a sip of my peppermint tea, you guys. Wow. Thanks, Claire's click clock. Mm. You got in trouble because of your art. Well, with a username like Satan's Ass Cheek, I can imagine why you might get in trouble. But was that the reason why? Did you draw Satan's Ass Cheek? I think my favorite nail polish colors are blue, red, and yellow. And uh, I don't, I can't pick between them. So I just love those primary colors. My backpack is actually those colors too. I have a sick blue, red, and yellow backpack. And I love it so much. <laughs> It's my favorite thing. Thanks, Dark Sakura. Now, I can't see you. <laughs> oh, once you start on something, you don't feel content. Well, what materials are you using, Dahlia? Because maybe the thing, maybe the thing is your, my guess, my guess, Dahlia, is that you're in the mood to draw, so you want to make marks and you want to make lines. You want to be like, and then you want to feel good about that stuff that you're drawing. So, and you have an idea or you're like, you're inspired. You feel like making these cool lines. Like, why would you want to draw anything other than a line, right? That's what you want to do. And then you grab your sketchbook or paper and then you grab your pen or something like that. And my guess is as soon as you pick up that stuff, that's when things get blank. And I can tell you why that happens. I can tell you exactly why. The reason why is because you no longer like the things that you're drawing with. You know, you're no longer in love with the, with the paper. You're not in love with the pen or the pencil. And maybe you think you're in love with them because you picked them out a long time ago and they're your favorite ones and you got exactly what you wanted. But maybe some time has passed and uh, no long, you're no longer interested. Or you've, done, you've, you've used them so much, you know. Um, and so I think what you should do is you should just get a different set of materials. And then I think you'll find that when you are inspired and you want to draw and you're using new materials. Um, and you're not trying to use the new materials to do the same things as use the old materials for. So you're not trying to use a pencil uh, the same way you used the micron pen or something like that because a pencil is different. So you're trying to find the, the things that the pencil is special at, you know? You're trying to sort of like also fall in love with the new stuff at the same time. So that would be my suggestion. <laughs> you can try it out. I look like a renaissance painting. That's probably because I just got out of the shower <laughs> and my hair is wet. And also I'm holding a uh, conductor's wand that I use sometimes, a little pointer wand. And that is, that's a quite a renaissance object. And I guess also, well, I guess also I was eating an apple and I use these pens, right? So maybe I have a renaissance vibe because I use a pen, but 
These pens weren't created in the Renaissance. These pens were only created, well, less than 200 years ago. The fountain pen was invented. I think it was invented around 1840 or 1860 or something like that. Fountain pens are quite new. And dip pens were only decades behind them. So for a long time, people used, um, you know, um, people used reeds and uh, feathers and things like that. The apple was, it was okay, man. I'm telling you, it was fine. <laughs> I don't know what you, guys, what you guys want with this apple, but it's like a two out of five. <laughs> Thanks, Swag Dog eight ninety one. Thanks, Kazu Soda. I should make an apple shop. Oh yeah, where people can buy apples. That's a cool idea too. Hey there, Apple. Are you? Hey, I want to try something. Okay. So this is like a new thing that I wanted to try. I have a piece of uh, plexiglass here and if I move my light a bit mm, like over here, like that, then mm, I can use my Expo pens like this. And to turn this off too. There we go, wait. Oh yeah. See, now you can't even really tell. You can't really tell that I'm behind the glass, but probably you can, it sounds a bit different. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see. Let, let's take this puppy for a ride. What do you guys think? Across the way, the robots stay in the same position, bound by a signal. Kind of works. Look, I'm like the little, guys, I can be like the little peep of whistle graphs, you know? I get the face tattoos. What if whistle graphs, what if whistle graphs went more like little peep style? Like what if we went really goth with them and did all these like breakup ones, you know what I mean? With trap beats, the emo, the emo rap beats. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try one more. I don't know how well this thing is working. I like to not have glass between us. I kind of like this, but I feel like I need some more opaque markers, which I have, which I have. Say hello to these guys. Oh yeah. Okay, ready? Here we go. I have some bricks. And they stack together just like this. I draw on them 
with my pen, with my pen. <laughs> How's that? Is that good? Bum, bum, bum. A bedtime storyline. Hmm. The problem with these markers, though, is that I can, it's a little bit harder to erase them. But it does look quite good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Let me get this thing out of the way. Ah. That's cool, loveyourself.net. Yeah, I think a lot of people draw them in class. Do you guys, hey, do you guys like who do the whistle graphs or like know them? Do your friends know them too? Or is it just like, are you like the only one in your like friend group who's like interested in them? Or like, I don't know, like, I'm just wondering like, those of you who like draw them, like are you alone in drawing them? Mm hmm. You're the only one. You're the only one. <laughs> you have a few, few friends who know some. But what does everybody know? So like the whistle graphs are kind of like, they're almost like underground in a sense. Like not many people know about them. Like it's not like everyone in school is talking about them. But maybe like the cool, like maybe like the cool people, like the cool art people will know about it, but not like, you know. You know what I'm saying? I have apple on my face, you guys. Check this out. Do I know what uh, I'm gonna draw or does it come out as I draw? Mm. Well, when I make the whistle graphs, I know like, I don't always know what I'm gonna draw. Sometimes I have a melody, like. You know, sometimes I like, sometimes I have a, a melody or a rhythm in my head. A lot of times I just start drawing too. I'm like, I just take my pen and I'm like. I draw the same mark like that, like a complicated mark, you know, like a loopy thing, like and then I do it again and then do it another time and then I might do like a you know, so I kind of like draw with music and then eventually sometimes the drawing has a rhythm and then, it, and then just how it feels, I don't know, I don't really know how I do them yet. That's private information. Yeah, this is Animal Crossing music for sure. I love watching really long Animal Crossing YouTube videos that are like 50 minutes long. And this one is called A Rainy Day in Animal Crossing New Leaf with rain sounds. <laughs> A Rainy Day in Animal Crossing New Leaf, parentheses, with rain sounds. Which is so funny. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I watch I watch like so many Animal Crossing videos. I mean like music videos. And a lot of ambient music too. Did I get the pre order? No, I didn't get the pre order. But I have a switch. Actually what I'm working on right now is like right now I'm working on that I'm gonna has any, if any, has anybody seen me go live on YouTube? Because when I go live on YouTube, I can like spin the camera and do this cool stuff. And so I have a software that I designed that allows me to do that. And I thought that like what I want to do now is that software uses the keyboard, but I want to make it use the Wii controller so I can have like the Wii controller attached to this and then point and literally have like two hands under the camera and with my hands, like zoom in with the camera and stuff like that and like move stuff around and trigger effects. So imagine like, so that way when I do my shows live for like a live audience, it's like the, I have these like hand controllers and then the pen or like one is 
I basically have a pen in one hand and a controller in the other, and there might even be like a laser pointer. Anyway, I'm just thinking about like, how can I take, how can I take this to the next level? You know what I'm saying? We gotta go next level. We gotta go sci-fi, sci-fi, next level. Who can I draw a snail on a skateboard? Yeah, maybe. I will entertain that suggestion. But I'm not gonna show you show it being drawn. Hmm. What do you think? What do you think, man? How's that? Hey, Alex is here. Alex, did you just get home? Or are you like in the airport right now? Alex like left. Alex left my house several hours ago and flew back to Los Angeles, which is being destroyed by the coronavirus. <laughs> we wanna do an apple with a top hat. Okay. Apple with a top hat. Apple with a top hat. Like that. He didn't say he had to be wearing it, so I thought maybe he was just <laughs> patting it, <laughs> touching it. <laughs> no, I'm not high. I'm just hanging out. I got a ring light in my eyes though. So that's probably why. Oh, and I also just got out of the shower and my hair is all wet and stuff. And I'm very tired. You're welcome. Well, I draw a pig with a bow tie on. Mm. Pig with a bow tie on. My day was really cool. Um, Oh my gosh, so many requests now. Let's see if we can do a pig with a bow tie. Oinky, 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 oinky. Okay, here's a pig with a bow tie. Do you see it? Mm. I'm trying to get the camera to autofocus, but like for some reason, when the camera is like this, it only autofocuses on a face. Wait, what was the other one? A snowman with an umbrella. There's a fly in here. <laughs> Stupid fly. Snowman with that umbrella, let's see. Oh, the snowman with the umbrella. Oh, little snowman with the umbrella. Oh, little snowman, are you gonna wait? Come on. You gonna make it, little snowman? Usually you guys can see what I'm drawing, so it's like you're in on the fun, but I just had to swap my camera around. But look, <laughs> this is what I came up with. See? It's the snowman, but he's melting because of global warming, and so he jumped on an umbrella so that he could keep himself together, and but also sled down the mountain to try to get help. That's him there. Here you know what I can do. 
I can do this. Excuse me, you guys. Why don't we do a little doodling for a few minutes, I think. Let's see what we can do here. I'm putting you in the stand. Just like that. You can see you're in the stand. Right here. Thank you. <laughs> Every time I get out of the shower, I always uh, have like... I always sneeze. Basically, or like when it rains, I feel like just water makes me sneeze a lot. A bird eating an apple. Okay. Let's see. This is how I've drawn birds since I was like one. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, I have to blow my nose. I'm gonna get a tissue. I hope you like that one. Don't worry, you guys. I don't have coronavirus. I just. I just have a sensitive nose. A bee on a flower. Bee on a flower, okay, let's see. Bee on a flower, I can definitely do that. <laughs> that was a quite nice one. I, I would actually say that was a, a very, very nice one. Mm -hmm. Wow. An apple a day keeps the coronavirus away. Yeah, that's true. Not these apples, probably. Mm -hmm. Can I draw a turtle? I mean, uh, sorry, a frog on a mushroom. Mm, I thought of it as a turtle head for one second. Sorry. Frog on a mushroom. How do we like that? Froggy on a mushroom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bunny on the moon. How come everything is on? Okay, listen guys. How come everything is on or in or with something? Huh? 
Well, how do we get on this whole thing? How do we get on this whole thing? Be on a flower. Snail on a skateboard. Are we just combining two emojis and asking me to draw them? Is that what is that what's going on? Are you guys trying to take advantage of me by just sending me two emojis and say, put this on this? Why don't you just why don't you just paste emojis? Hmm. Yeah, I guess that is what you're doing, isn't it? <laughs> They're actually quite nice though. Let's take a look at some of them all at once. Hmm. You know, I don't really do a lot of sketching. Maybe some of these are good sketches for, for whistle graphs, actually. I like that. I do like that snail on the skateboard one. Okay, bunny on the moon. All right, all right, all right, all right. Grace, bunny on the moon. working on it. There's a little bunny on the moon, I guess. Although, honestly, it looks more like a mouse on the moon. It almost looks like a bunny looking up at the moon. I think if I add that, it's like a bunny looking out at the moon. From the top. And maybe this could be a little bit of the grasses. And that's like their hands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh oh, that video ended. Oh, there we go. We got some more video. Toilet paper art tonight. <laughs> yeah. Guys, guess what? My grocery store had loads of toilet paper. And so I went, I bought all of it. And now we're gonna do toilet paper. <laughs> a dehydrated flower. A dude with glasses and a mullet. I don't know. I'm starting to get a little bit tired, y'all. I did like doing these drawing suggestions, though. It was pretty fun. But you know, I come on all the time, so not always at this time, though. Dude. These are all great ideas though. You should draw, you should draw some like, you guys should draw some and then post them and mention me and then I'll, I promise you I'll look at them. I look at every video that someone mentions me in so. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for me to have a sip of my peppermint tea. And I also think, it's time for me to go. I'm sorry, everybody, but I'm tired. And I was just coming on late to say hi and show my face. Show my face like this. <clears throat> Hello. Look, you can see my nose hairs. <laughs> All right, I have to go, everybody. Bye. Yeah, sleep is good. Goodbye. Mouse with cheese. What's my favorite doodle tonight? Mm, I don't know. I actually think... I like all of them. 
I'll have to look at them tomorrow. I do like the last one. I just like them all for different reasons, you know. Anyway, bye guys. I'll talk to you soon. I will be on tomorrow night, 6 p.m. PST, and maybe even do another late night show. If you ask me for another show where I'm showing my face and just talking and stuff like that, then um, I will do it. Otherwise, I'll go back to my usual drawing stuff. Local celebrities stopping by. Nice. All right. See you guys. Bye.